get in, losers. We're going to historic Fallsington. The journey was long, the journey was arduous, and full of setbacks. However, Fallsington isn't too, too far away, and I finally arrived. The funniest thing about historic Fallsington to me is the fact that it's about two or three streets big, yet the spirit of it is so big and alive and in the fall and winter, mwah. Chef's kiss as the kids say. I mean, look at this gift shop. the information center now where I met lovely Bob and lovely Kim who gave me all the information that I need in this little packet that we're going to follow as we make our way through this park. <gasps> I'm already having the best time. I've only seen one building. Mm -hmm. So let's continue on. The various houses, buildings, in this case taverns, that are on site are available for tours if you want to book them. I'm sure it's an incredible way to spend a day. that this building was part of the history of the thing and not an active Quaker meeting place. <laughs> Still cool. Still very cool. There she is. Oh, that was that was some nice light right there. Oh, a little harsh. Well, maybe I'll come hang out on Sunday at 11 a.m. Did any of y'all know a log house existed? Did y'all know log houses were a thing? Cause I certainly did not, but I'm very glad this was my first introduction because this one is very cute. definitely something I'm going to come back and see over multiple days like there's so much to see <laughs> it's like interspersed within an actual neighborhood like people really live here but then the historical houses are in between actual houses so there's just a lot of ground to cover but it is the most charming little town feels slightly witchy feels slightly haunted I'm not mad about it I'm not mad about it happy spoopy season I forgot my hat so here we are I got distracted and took a bunch of pictures of these gorgeous flowers you'll see them on Instagram <laughs> I tell y'all I swooned so hard over this library it was so charming and the temperature was perfect it was it was so warm and cozy <laughs> I will absolutely be back to the Fossington library this is really the perfect fall day out and all the Halloween decorations oh you can't see them just trust me they're there I 
feel like sketching. I think it's funny that the last time I did one of these was also in the fall and also involved pumpkins. I believe that was in my Font Hill Castle video. Check that one out. Oh my god, I still love that one a lot. But here she is. I'm probably going to color it just as like a therapy project, see what comes of it. But my fingers were feeling restless, so I figured I'd sketch for the first time in months. <laughs> it's time for me to go to bed. I'm sleepy. So I'm going to get ready for bed. I'm going to start my nightly routine and you all enjoy the song request of the week. Yay, they are back. <laughs> for now. Days seem sometimes as if they'll never end. Sun digs its heels to taunt you. But after sunny days, one thing stays the same. Rise is the Skittle Hunter, thank you so much for this request. I'm glad I finally got to it. I'm pretty sure you sent this like months ago when I first started doing these. I always do these randomly or which one will be easiest to do at the time. But I kept listening to this song on a loop after I finished learning it. It's just so pretty and peaceful. But everyone, I hope you had so much fun in Ballsington with me. I highly recommend you check it out. I mean, clearly I've shown you all of Bucks County at this point. Y'all better be making a trip, okay? There's too much cuteness going on here for y'all to be sitting at home. Like, I don't know what y'all do with your lives. I don't know that you're sitting at home like, okay. But coming to Bucks County. The fall here is perfect. And I'm glad I finally got to break out one of my favorite fall sweaters. Although it desperately needs to be ironed. But that is it. <laughs> See y'all next week. Over and out.